Hello guys, what's up and welcome back. I'm so glad you guys are here. So today I'm doing a little get ready with me, but I'm doing a trial run of my pageant makeup as next Friday, I'll be leaving to compete in the Miss Indiana State Fair. And I currently hold the title of Miss Adams County. So I'm so excited. Um, I'm not too worried about my makeup, but I do want to do a trial run just to make sure um, that like, I feel confident about it, um, but I'm not too worried. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start getting ready, but also I wanted to do a get ready with me to catch you guys up and just give some life updates because I haven't put that many vlogs out lately. And I'll kind of explain why, because my life has been a little crazy. I don't have one of those cute headbands <laughs> that are adorable. So I just use my hair clips to kind of pull my hair back, which makes me look kind of crazy, but it's okay. Life update. I just finished my first semester of senior year at Taylor University and this was probably by far one of the most hard academically. Not like getting my grades good as far as but like there was just a lot of work and the classes that I was taking, graduating in three years instead of four, because I brought in like some credits from like my high school career. This is the parameter that I used. I wanted to get done early because why not? I was taking my senior classes along with two junior classes mm -hmm. and they're pretty heavy. And so, yeah, it was really hard, not gonna lie. The reason that I just didn't really vlog a lot is because I was just crazy busy. I was doing my classes. I also had a job. Also, this color is not gonna match me. That, but I'm gonna have a spray tan, so it'll be okay. So yeah, I had a job and I worked Monday, Friday, and some Saturdays, and it was just kind of a lot. And now I was trying to do like Miss Adams County things, which was so fun, but I do feel like I kind of burnt myself out and didn't really allow, I didn't feel like myself on some moments of this semester just because I had a lot going on and it was kind of stressful. I had the worst burnout that I have ever experienced from a college semester. I mean, like the signs of burnout are not enjoying the things that you normally do, um, feeling tired all the time, not wanting to hang out with anybody. Um, for example, for me, when I know that I'm starting to get burnout, I know, cliche of me, right? I don't want to drink my coffee. Um, and I know that's weird, but that's something that I know when I'm experiencing burnout is that I don't enjoy things that I normally look forward to in the morning. Um, and that's just kind of how it is when you experience burnout. And that's something that I've kind of become in tune with since learning about it in social work. I'm doing much better. Christmas break has been a lifesaver. Um, and now I just get to enjoy focusing on the pageant. This color is so off, but like, I'm gonna have a spray tan, so I'm just going for like, if all these products match together well. But yeah, I only have one semester left. This is what I use for my foundation. I've got this, and the only thing is that it's so hard to twist, and that's a little disappointing, but I love it because it's like shimmery as well. It reminds me of like the Charlotte Tilbury, not that I have it, but I see it on TikTok kind of to brighten that up but also my little acne spots right here kind of has like a shimmery and i really like that but to be honest never contoured in my life <laughs> we are just trying new things out here so i got the wet and wild i was gonna get the nyx but it was like 15 dollars and i was like try this out first because <laughs> there's only like five um because i am a cheapskate just a little fact for you so if this completely fails at least i'll know before next weekend 
It also has a double side, so it has like a whitening one, and I'm also just following the box because that seems like the smartest thing. Oh. Hmm. The contour one definitely fit, did better. I don't like feeling this, but I didn't really expect to use that side, to be honest. I expected to use my, um, elf concealer because I really like that one and I know it's going to stay and that it's going to stick. So my talking in this video is definitely going to be sporadic because I'm doing two things at once. Next, I'm going to go in with this elf. It's like a very fair, it's the 16 hour camo concealer. Okay, yeah, Defin definitely brighten that up a little bit. I still feel like I would go a little more just because on stage makeup. I am going to do the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. Um, I just got this little video and I really love it. So what I do is I first go in with the brush, put it over, and then I'll take my beauty blender and press it in. Okay, back to what I was saying. So, there's like 80 girls, so I leave Friday. I gotta leave at like 6, 7 a.m. It's at the Indiana State Fairgrounds, which is in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, check in, and that Friday we have, I'm contestant number 18, which means that I'm pretty like in the front of the line, I feel like it's very soon. So, we have private interviews. And how that works is you have three judges and each girl only gets three minutes which each judge um, to kind of prove to them that you deserve to be Miss Indiana State Fair and kind of show who you are, why you're here, and they just ask you questions based on the paperwork that you submitted and maybe just questions that they wanted to ask. I mean, they're the judges, they're allowed to ask anything they want. Okay, I really feel like this powder did wonders. I'm not very impressed by it. Um, and then we have to write a one 60 second speech. And we say it in front of three different judges right after we do our interview. And that's it for Friday night. And then we have like a pizza party and get to meet all the girls and like socialize more. And Saturday is prelims um so what that is is that's the stage portion we have one three three outfits um which isn't bad at all and you have like your casual outfit for first which is like your introduction so jeans the t-shirt they provide um and you can pick whatever shoes like a belt or whatever you want and you basically just say like hello i'm lexi murray miss adams county contestant number 18 and that's it the next outfit is business. So this is like kind of what you would like to choose. I'm wearing a business dress. Some of them wear suits, um, jumpsuits. And for that one, it's just walking while the announcers announce the bio that you created on the things that you want the judges to know about you it, to impress them basically. Um, So, yeah. Oh, that was a little dark. Oh, that was a little dark. <laughs> a little dark. Okay, next I'm going to go in with some blush. So, this is like this Ipsy thing. I actually got gifted this, but it's this blush. I don't even know if they make it. I'm not sure. And it's like a filler thing, but it's one of the best blushes I've ever had. And I'm just sticking with it because I really like it. So... It's kind of a pain to get out, but it's really pigmented, and I know it'll give me like that on stage pop. So next, I'm gonna do a little highlighter and like a little shimmer. So I got this a while, but it's the L'Oreal um, Lumi Glow Amore. They have like a lotion in this. Um, I've never tried that one, but I'm just doing this right now, and I do like it. It is very pigmented, I will say. Okay, so. 
And then my X matte finish. Because while I do want to look glimmery, I don't want to look sweaty. So, I have the Naked 3 palette, and that is the main palette that I'm going to use because it accentuates my eye color a lot. I am going to go with the NYX and use these as my base for my eyes, though. So, let's do those quick. Okay, my phone storage got full, so I had to delete this. I really need to make sure I do that for next weekend. Okay, anyway, I am very excited to meet all the girls. Again, we're going, well, meet some of them really close because we'll all be living in the same room. And I think it's just gonna be so much fun because when I went to Queen's Day, it was so much fun because we got to like learn about everybody's county and how like everybody differs. Like, because some, like I'm a smaller, like I live in a smaller county and I represent a smaller county. Some of them are really big and so it's so cool to see like how everybody's experiences differ but also we're all in the same place like together and get to like share and I think that's just really cool. Um, so next I'm going to go in with these ooh, dark for three. I would cry if I dropped this. It'd be a bad day. So I went super dark. Oh, you can see my really dark right there. It's not blended. Don't worry. Um, I'm going to go in with some pinks and some lights and then I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, here's the finished product. I thought I had my clear lash glue, which works so much better, but I only have this and it's black and I'm not like a pro at lashes, so I definitely need to get the clear one in this, but I feel like it turned out good. Definitely pageant, like I would not wear this on a normal basis. But I feel like it turned out so good. And now I know like what I need to get still. I'm gonna send it to my directors and make sure if they think I need to put like more blush or anything like that. But there's my big trial run. I kind of like talked all over the place today, so I apologize. But I have a lot of things on my mind. Um, so the next few videos that I'll be putting out is definitely going to be pageant things just because that's what's going on in my life and that's what I do on my channel is just share um, things that are happening in my life. Um, I'm going to try next week do a just a simple day in my life as I start my online class. Um, maybe just do a normal one without any pageant things and in case anybody is just not interested in the pageant life which is totally okay. Um, so I'll try to get one of those in for you guys but then I'll be doing a packing vid um, and then I'll be filming the entire pageant weekend, so very exciting. So thank you. If you watch this whole thing, you are a trooper and thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day.